Hello. <clears throat> so, um, I finally got my, um, my book into, like, a, a small, like, uh, PDF, uh, file, or I don't know what PDF stands for, maybe the F is already for file. Anyway, but, uh, so I'm, I sent it out, and, um, I printed it out, I printed my book out, finally, I got, I had to get new ink for my printer, and it still ran out of ink halfway through the book, like, I put two, you know, a new, uh, cartridge for color, a new cartridge for black ink, and it's, like, 300-page book, you know, so, like, halfway through it, like, ran out of ink, and entirely, and, uh, and so then I just had one like black ink cartridge left. So I just was like, all right, fuck it. I'll just put that in. And so I printed the rest of it black and white. But because it starts at the back and it starts at the last one and moves to the first one, like so I, the end of the book or the second half of the book is in color. Uh, although a lot of it is faded because it already started to like run out. And then the first half of the book is black and white. And so a lot of the, um, the, pho you know, photos, um, of it, it just doesn't have anything for a lot of it. Cause if it's not, if it's all just colors, like, um, but anyway, at least it get, at least I have some semi cop, you know, somewhat of a copy of it, like physically with me of the whole thing and um yeah it took like a lot of time to print it all out and unfortunately it's only it seemed to only have the option of like one sided on my printer I guess so like it's a lot of uh so this is my uh um my opus Anyway, so I don't know, like, I can't really see how I'm, what I'm filming right now, but basically they, you know, like, the, even the cover, it has, like, two maps, like a satellite map and an ancient map, and both of them, you can't really see shit, because it's all, like, I guess, colors, and this is only black paint, so it, or black ink, so it just just a couple lines and outlines and whatever and but not yeah so anyway but that's uh at least something for me to just have and then uh you know i spammed out my the pdf to like um everybody like that i could like on facebook like in facebook messenger I'm still in Facebook jail right now, but, uh, you know, for another couple days, but somebody's trying to like shut down my group, you know, I think it's these bots, like there's some bots trying to, seems like they're trying to get my group shut down, my pre-Columbian transoceanic contact group in Facebook, they're trying to, uh, they're just spamming it with porn every day now and like uh and fucked up porn like at bestiality porn all, yeah all day every day and so they're just trying to get my group banned or just or maybe just get people to leave because the people are like they don't want to see like people fuck, women fucking dogs in their archaeology group so, you know, and it seemed like they knew that, like, I was in Facebook jail, so they're figuring, like, okay, the admins, you know, admins asleep, the admins gone, let's, like, take down this group. And, um, you know, it's all these different profiles that are clearly all, you know, made by the same person or the same people. And, and uh, so, yeah, every day I get a message from Facebook saying that they removed, like, 50, you know, um posts in my group so it's just a question of is facebook gonna close the group i mean at the most like i might just have to do post approval which is kind of like shitty to have to do but i'll like 
maybe I'll put it to a vote or something in the group and see like if people wanted me to change it to post approval just to like at least until we stop getting like bestiality posts. Um, so yeah, I just, um, you know, I've been trying to figure out like, how am I going to print this book? How am I going to get it printed? Like I was thinking maybe I would just do it myself, print it out like this, but then I realized like, can't because it's too, I mean, even just the, besides how expensive the ink is, like it's prohibitively expensive the ink cartridges because that's already like I basically use like three cartridges I mean there's probably still some left in there but basically I used like uh like a hundred dollars or something worth of ink just to not even print out the whole book like most of it's faded or has no color <laughs> so that's clearly not economical um, you know, the ink mafia got me by the fucking, by the cojones. Anyway, so like, I'm just gonna, I might go through Amazon, you know, like I fucking hate Amazon. Like I was, that was my one thing. I'm like, all right, I'll do what it, I'll find a cheap way, but I'm just not going through Amazon because I know everybody does that. And like... But now I realize, like, they, somehow the market is so fucked, maybe due to the actions of Amazon, I don't know why, but somehow, like, they're the only ones that can do it, like, nearly as cheaply as they do it. So, I don't know, I might just do it through them, partly just because, I don't know, they're not, I don't think they're going to make a fortune off it, and, like, I don't know how much they make off it. I mean a lot of their shit like this that's all cheap it's like I don't know that they make anything off it I mean maybe they just do it so that they can like out compete the uh the other um you know people you know put everybody else out of business and so you know like if I definitely had like more money like if I was like money guy then I could just be like oh I would like to patronize this business that's a good you know um worker owned co-op or something like that and put my money in into something that I think is better but since I have jack shit I might have to at least uh at least as one avenue to like you know work with the work with the uh at least get the benefits from the fucking amazon of that basically i think if you put your book in there they print it on demand for people at like a really cheap rate somehow so i'm not sure like how they do that again they they might just take a loss you know like i think they did take a loss for like their first i don't know how many years in business but somehow they still kept going because, I don't know, they're owned by the CIA or whatnot, probably. Um, but be that as it may, yeah, it's like, sometimes I should, I had to at least like get the benefit of some, like some corporation that's screwing me over. Um, at least get them to like buy me lunch first or something. So this would be like the lunch is if they, I think they, I think they do it for free. Like you just upload your book and then they print it and it's like, I forget. Anyway, I was Googling it, but it was like, I don't know. It was like less than like, I was looking on some other like cheap, printing sites and it was still coming out to like 19 bucks per book or so and um so anyway i think it's less with the amazon thing like it's like gonna be hopefully under ten dollars per book i don't know because that's the thing is like i just it's an unwieldy like 
it's 300 pages uh, or it's just under 300 pages and there's a lot of color uh, photographs on it and you know which are a big part of of it you know like they go with the text you know some of it goes with the text and others is is more tangential uh, tangentially related but um but very related in the overall uh topic so so yeah i might do that and then i'll find out yeah how much they're going to charge at least because then it's like as long as they don't have any rule that it's like has to only be through them like if they have some exclusivity rule then no but uh, you know as long as that's just one avenue i can do and i think they don't even charge for it they just uh they just charge whoever orders each book and then you know that goes towards the printing of each book so you know like yeah they're able to basically front the money as it were so i might just avail myself of that even as much as i hate their their uh you know evil empire murdering its own workers in uh the hurricanes or whatever um yeah fuck amazon so yeah if i if i do go through amazon definitely don't take it as any endorsement of amazon they fucking suck but it's just like using facebook it's like i use facebook because everybody's on there because they managed to like corner the market on that um but it's not any endorsement of facebook as a company they're evil as fuck same with youtube same with you know all this shit anyway all right i'm just gonna like watch some cool shit in netflix maybe and yeah let's see what do i got here got my water um anything else new let's see i uh well, I guess when I finish that, getting it printed, then I might try to get get my book about the history of the Ulster Scots uh, more uh, sorted into something that, uh, you know, I can publish either in uh, either in just a rough form or or get it. Uh, more fine-tuned I don't know I have to find out I don't remember exactly the state that it's in because I hadn't been working on it for a little while while I was getting into um, Neanderthology and pre-Columbian contact um, but I, I, I have all the data like thousands of pages of data and I think I have the latest uh, incarnation of it is like a thousand pages that just needs to be like edited down I mean there's a lot that can be edited out so it was just like I just made sure to throw everything I might need into it so if I can edit that down and get that printed and I could, you know, I might do the same thing with that, put it on Amazon, send it out as a PDF, etc. You know, like I'm not going to charge, I'm not going to charge money for like anything like this, you know, like, I mean, I hate to charge money for anything because I hate money, you know, like I hate the, like money as a system. It's just like to choose the thing to give the value to that is the thing that the worst people have the most of and a lot of the best people have the least of it's like just inherently uh you know fraught with uh folly i'm sorry sometimes i have to 
use like 18th century uh, terminology just because it's come to that. This is folly. And um, so yeah, I'll just like hopefully I'll print those things and then it would be cool to print something about Neanderthals and Neanderthaloid hybrids. I mean, it's just like, I don't know, I'll just keep printing, keep printing things. I mean, there's a million things like I have posted and lost to the ethers of the internet. And, you know, including like stuff on my old accounts that got nuked by the powers that be and like that are just erased from history. Maybe they're still in the Wayback Machine, but I don't know if you can way back into Facebook. Who knows? Maybe I should hope that you can't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, so it's good. I'm glad that I'm finally done with this uh, project. I mean, it's not like, it's, especially, you know, parts of it are certainly far from, like, you know, fancy or super uh, fine-tuned or whatever. There, a lot of it is just raw quotes for the most part and just, um, yeah, raw quotes from various books and, like, uh, various sources. But, uh, and that's the same in my Ulster Scott book, might be different, probably would be different in a Neanderthology uh, treatise or something I might do because um, because with that there's like, well I guess I could find, there are people who have like had similar views so I could do that as well that way, like use quotes, but there's just, um, uh, yeah, I guess I could do that. I don't know. I'm used to just like going extempore or whatever, like just um, on my own because that's, I'm used to being the only person that has my theories about Neanderthals. Um, but, but it's not really true. I mean, there's always been people that had similar theories to mine. They're just not as uh, prominent usually. Um, so yeah, um, but there, yeah, there have been some good, you know, academics even that raised the issues of Neanderthal, like basically the idea that Neanderthals were, um, like technologically advanced, like at least as advanced as, as sapiens and maybe in some ways more so. And that they may have, like, influenced, uh, you know, modern sapiens in fundamental ways. Like, the interaction with Neanderthals. Um, but it's hard, you know, it's hard because what we have to go on is so limited. Um, but it at least seems clear that the Neanderthaloid hybrids were we're never far away from like uh, a lot of the scientific like advancement and um, yeah, just like high, high science and high technology, like in Mesopotamia, Mesoamerica, um, Mediterranean, etc. But uh Anyway, and also I would like to like uh, print some stuff about the the whitewashing of history, like just the the extreme. Like I didn't I didn't even realize how extreme it was, but um, there's a lot of like what we think of as archaeological artifacts but they're really like not anything like the original. They're really like whitewashed. They're either like 
repainted a lighter color or they just have the paint completely removed and and no uh indication of that so that people assume that it's like oh it's a white marble that must have been a white person like um so yeah that's another thing that's like a a uh, issue that's whose time has long since come and um so yeah, I'll just keep going, printing, publishing, writing, that kind of thing. All right, uh, take care and um, namaste.